Last week, we met up with our Aussie friends on Lemonade. Hi, guys! <laughs> we plan on buddy boating for as long as we can, travelling north along the Croatian coastline, stopping at some incredible destinations along the way. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies, travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. We're currently travelling north from where we left you guys in Tregear. The next stop is a small beach town along the main coastline. We're looking forward to sailing by some more local towns and beaches to get a break from the craziness of charter season. In saying that, we're also making our way towards one of Croatia's tourist hotspots, Kirka National Park. As much as we'd like to avoid these busy places, apparently this beautiful natural waterfall is not to be missed. Thank you. Look at the blue water over there, huh? Yeah. The um, anchorage looks like, oh, uh, on Nablia, just looks, it looks amazing. Lucky we raped, eh? Yep. We've only got five weeks left in Croatia before our 90 day visa expires. Then we plan to sail down the east coast of Italy before hopping back over to Greece to haul out over the winter for three or four months. We're actually heading back to Australia this time. The winter was far too cold last year and we need to do some work to boost up the cruising kitty. And of course, catch up with friends and family. Jason over here acting like a big kid with the kids. <laughs> Having the best time ever. Michelle are just doing a walk and we've decided to come up this bloody hill. <laughs> yeah. Seems Killing like us. Rush, hey. Seems like a bit of a theme. Yeah. Just go up, up the highest hill. <laughs> You're trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> the view's so nice though, I'll show you guys. Pretty. This was the perfect place to relax for a couple of days. It reminded me of those small beach towns Aussies would holiday at back when we were kids. There was only one small supermarket, a beach bar and two restaurants in the whole area. We're moving on. We're only going an hour away. But we have spent two nights at this little bay, so it's a pretty small town. Um, I really liked it though, it kind of had like um, a little holiday town vibes, but for locals rather than tourists. So yeah, it was nice and relaxing and did a bit of a couple of walks, sat on the beach, had a swim, a couple of swims. So yeah, we are heading to a town one hour north of where we are now. Um, and we'll spend the night there and then probably move on tomorrow and we'll do about a four to five hour sail to the next island.
We have arrived in a village called Rogoznica, which lies on the Dalmatian coast about 30 kilometers south of Shibnik. We've picked a great spot that will be sheltered from the wind, deep in the bay behind the town. Rogoznica is known to boaters as one of the safest ports in the Adriatic. It's only a small town, but there's a nice boardwalk along the sea with coffee bars, restaurants and many private coves and beaches. Over the next couple of days, we sailed further north, where we met some other young cruisers and decided to join up for a few days. Good morning. We are in a little bay this morning, the wall of Ostrica, Ostrican. I can't pronounce it properly. <clears throat> um, but there is like a castle wall that goes up a hill um, and we're in a bay that's only like three to five metres in depth, the whole entire bay. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, nice sandy bottom with a bit of seagrass, so we held well. But it's been so calm overnight. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's stunning here this morning. Look at that water, it's like a pool, it's beautiful and so calm and we're here with our friends on Nehru and Lemonade behind them and we're going to head to Sibinik today which is a town close by, you kind of have to go up like a canal type thing, there's the wall over there, that's fresh water. Fresh water, yeah, when you get like completely inside, so that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, this is where we are this morning. So this whole thing's kind of like a, a bay, super, super protected. So I think before we leave at about 11 or 12 o'clock today, we are going to walk up the wall, check it out have a little walk around the bay and then we'll clean up and get going. I think we're going to um, have a little race today. We we'll <laughs> attempted <make it> this <laughs> We attempted to have a race yesterday from where we were um, and we actually haven't paid for Navionics since we've been since it expired and we've been in Croatia because Navionics has changed um, their subscription to not include Albania, Montenegro and Croatia, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. And we only had about six weeks to go here, so it wasn't worth the money to pay for. So um, we can still use the app, but you can't use the automatic routing to a location. So they charge you um, 30 US dollars, I think, for like the whole of the Mediterranean. And they're trying to charge you 80 dollars just for the just for that section. Croatia, Albania and Montenegro. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, ridiculous. So anyway. We ended up going the wrong way um, and I mean it could have worked in our favour if we picked up wind because we did go around the outside of these islands and um, it's kind of out more in the open but yeah we actually had less wind than what they had um, and took a longer way accidentally but yeah so we got here last so um, hopefully we can make up for it today and at least come first or second. Heading over to check the castle out. Have a little paddle over there and a little walk. Oh, I'm a Uber driver. Oh, runners. And I'm getting wet. It's not really the best Uber driver. I'm in my gym gear, not my bathers, and I'm getting soaked. Uh, not unless you want me to get off with the 
fine. Better get that information off Michelle, she knows. So we've walked through a very small track and we've already reached another little beach. We'll show you guys, it's really cute. Settle down for a simple life. Coffee in the morning. All right, Michelle knows the facts about this wall. Jason's yeah. trying to tell the facts, and I'm like, let's ask Michelle when we get there. They, uh, they built it to keep the rabbits out. <laughs> oh. they initially, they built it to like keep the rabbits in because they do game shooting over here and hunting. That's right. So they, that's not why they built it. Though. And then no, what? They, right. they, <laughs> they built it to keep the Turks out um, originally, and then they actually used it to separate the sick and the healthy during the plague. Yeah, that's right. I knew it was something to do with the plague, but I couldn't remember. And that's a school wall that you've done. Yeah. 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 If you've ever visited the Adriatic coast of Croatia, you've probably noticed these long walls made of stone. People use this technique to protect their land and plant species from harsh weather. The tradition was passed down from generation to generation. There are some enthusiasts who still continue to embrace this eco-friendly tradition today. in Sibenek and the town is huge there's a big cruise ship down there yeah it goes forever so we'll check this out on the way back out and um, it's got two UNESCO World Heritage sites it's pretty cool I'm guessing one of them is at the top of that hill there lost the race unfortunately. Everyone's a bit ahead of us. So it looks like Nehru came first once again. Lemonade second and us third. We've got a pretty dirty bottom though so I think that's definitely contributing. We'll make that our excuse. Yeah. We're <laughs> not shit sailors. No. Well Janae is. Oh it's sketchy to go under. Just FYI, it's crazy how much speed you lose by having a dirty bottom, or should I say, hull. We soon learnt that we were moving along one to two knots faster once we cleaned the hull. Oh, still nerve wracking. First bridge. Woohoo! Epic. What's the plan today, Mia? No, Mia doesn't know the plan yet. Well, well, well. <laughs> we know that. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we want. <laughs> Are we going to see a waterfall today, though? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. You've got to make little baby sails. Oh, Mia's got a baby sail. Okay, we're going to have to go back to the boat. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, it's like, got too many choices. Oh, yeah, look like her. I know. Paddleboard rescue. Silly me brought it back to the boat and didn't hook it on. <laughs> oh, lucky it wouldn't have gone too far, hey? Oh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about getting a new tender. <laughs> yeah. 
He was jammed under the boat too, so it would have stayed for a bit, but obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right, we are just sailing to a new anchorage so that we can um, take our friends tender in tomorrow morning to a place called Scraden where we can get the ferry into Kirkland National Park and see the waterfalls here. Um, so yeah, this will just get us a little bit closer. Um, so we can, yeah, I mean the tender ride, we don't want it to be too long. He's actually got to do two trips as well, so I think it only makes it about one and a half nautical miles. So yeah, we'll just stay here tonight and go and do the Kirkham National Park tomorrow for like half the day. And then I think the plan is to pick up anchor and go into uh, Sibenik, the town that was kind of at the mouth of the Canal River kind of thing. So yeah, it should be nice. So, yeah, we're just sailing at the moment. So we're cruising along pretty slowly, but it's beautiful and calm. Just got the head sail out and we're doing 2.6 knots, but that's all right, because we don't have far to go. We've got about 10 knots of wind, so yeah, perfect conditions. And that's it from us today. We'll see you next week when we visit the most incredible national park. If you like our content, help us out by giving us a thumbs up and a hello in the comments. And if you really love us, consider supporting us on Patreon.